ladies and gentlemen, live from Hollywood at the Improv Studios, it's the Nighttime Show! Tonight, we have our head writer, Matt Walker. I'm the voice of the nighttime show, Mike Black. And we have very special guests from Sons of Anarchy, 30 Days of Night, Batman Begins, Mark Boone Jr. And from Angel, The Expendables, and Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Charisma Carpenter. See them both in the new movie, Street Level. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the man who loves donuts so much he almost needs Named himself Crispy Stephen Kramer Glickman. Thanks, pal. <laughs> uh, everybody, Mike Black. Uh, this is our this is our announcer, Mike Black. Who? Uh, do you need to take a breather after that, Mike? You doing okay? I'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> you <had a> <laughs> after a good four days of rest. And I'll be- <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, sometimes on this show we uh, we get people that we kind of you know freak out about a little bit, and you know, we're trying not to freak out with that you moon. guys. We're trying. No, it's about both of you guys because we're good. we're both uh, we're big fans of of both of you guys. But it was like we actually tried to get you guys to come separately because we were panicking oh. about about having uh, two amazing actors on the same show at the same yeah. time because we're like, what do we talk about first? <laughs> like we were just kind of we were kind of freaking out a little bit. Uh, but it is an honor to have both of you, Charisma Carpenter and Mark Boone Jr. We're both uh, we're big fans of both of you guys. Thanks for coming and hanging out with us. <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm gonna sure. I'm okay. gonna talk like a morning a morning okay. radio guy the whole time. <laughs> okay, hello, <laughs> good afternoon. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> Hi, uh, what's your name again? <laughs> <laughs> um, I forgot. Right, <laughs> we can Aren't aren't we what? aren't we together know. in that movie we did? Are you guys yeah. a couple in the movie? Yeah. We are. Oh my yeah. god. Wow. So I didn't hot. know that. Oh, oh this is boy. nice. I, 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 I. Ooh, what is the, how much of a thank you gift did you give to your agent for that one? <laughs> I thanked him pretty, plenty. I did. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking to him. We were good. <laughs> no, that's yeah. that's really incredible. How did you guys get involved in this movie? How did this uh, come about? <clears throat> okay, David Labrava, who played Happy on the Sons of Anarchy. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Well, that he wrote, produced, directed. Uh, Starred. He played, starred. He <laughs> um, he he did everything. I mean everything. He literally did everything. <laughs> everything. He did all the parts. Even he yes, did all the parts. He, 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 he Do it like this, okay? Craft <laughs> services. All, <laughs> all right. Don't have... open your mouth again, Boone. Just can, just I'll do it. Can we just acknowledge the fact that? He did do everything, and then he also called on every single person in his life to make this movie happen, wow. and wow. everybody showed up for him, which is very rare, because there's people that talk about, I'm writing this movie, and I've got this project, and I'm going to do this, I'm going to, going to, and then there's the people that do, and yeah. that's David, and he's very passionate. <laughs> he's wow. so passionate, and um, here we are. When did you? Uh, when did you guys read the script for this? Oh, I read the script uh, many times. years ago. <laughs> was he talking to you about it on Sons of Anarchy? Did he tell you that he wanted to it, write it, a project? I don't know exactly what I should say about you know my relationship with David Labrava. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Is it scandalous? No, I mean, you know, DL came on to the set of... of, of Sons of Anarchy, as, and and um, you know he was gonna just be I don't know what he was gonna be he was and um, he was a biker consultant. Yes, he was a biker consultant, <laughs> and you know he he walked around the first day with his knife stuck in his belt, with his <laughs> hand on the knife the whole time. Like I'm gonna kill anybody who says anything crazy to me. <laughs> Holy shit. And, you know, a lot of people were legitimately afraid. And I was just like, this dude, and I'm not, I'm not toot my own horn here, but I was just like, this dude's not going to do this to yeah. our set. Yeah. And so I immediately like went right after him. And he was like, oh, what's he doing? Oh, my God. He's like, what? <laughs> Okay. Well, what should I do now? Did anyway. you just kind of push him? Uh, kind of, kind of I, push his buttons a little bit and kind of get in. I did, and head? everybody in the room was going like, "Oh shit! No, don't do that! Don't do that!" I was like, "No, he, this guy is not going to come onto our set and do that." And so then it was just a learning curve because, yeah, you know, about like, and and you know, he was great on the show and everything like that, and eventually. 
<laughs> and it was like, um, and we hung out after after yeah, we had a day DL, which is what I call him, or D, <clears throat> and Charlie and Tommy and I mostly hung out a lot after the, every night of work just mm-hmm. to smooth decompress yeah out you know you just got smooth so, the, the edges and, it, out with and that was like the old, you know i don't Does know how DL many decompress? times <laughs> no i mean you have to He's shut up d l shut up <laughs> shut up Super shut high up energy shut up <laughs> <laughs> like that so yeah yeah, you know, and then he's like, "Oh, oh, oh okay." Oh, oh, oh. He does uh, respect Boone a lot. Yeah, and he, when he came to set, you know, I'm sure I, I'm projecting now, but I can imagine visually that encounter that you had with him, because he is very um, intense. Yeah. He's an intense. How did person. you come to work with him? Like, did you did you know him ahead of time? I didn't. Uh, not. Too- I don't know how we got you involved. There, there was some. You, I was at the season six. um, Oh, right. You were in, you were in some, right? Well, yes, but not yet. Yeah. When I met, when I met David or DL, um, it was at the season six premiere party, um, which was kind of this huge event. And Katie, uh, who is um, Kurt's assistant, had called me and said, you know. Not Katie Seagal. Katie. No, I I don't remember Katie's name. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't no know longer. how you pronounce it, but it's L U C I E, Lucy or Luce or something fancy. I don't know. That's she, her last name. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, she's adorable. She's sweet and she's lovely. And hi. Um, <laughs> I don't think she's his assistant any longer. But no, is she? no, no, no. No, I don't. But think so. at the time, at yeah. the time, and I'm friends with, friendly with her. But um, at the time, um, uh, she called me, and I had been a huge, and I was going to be on Sons of Anarchy afterward because I'm, I was just such an advocate for the show, and I was very verbal about it, or, or you would say digital about it, <laughs> on my social media because I, I loved, and I remember the first time I met. Oh gosh, excuse me. <laughs> Phones <I> off. She's <laughs> being digital right now. I know, <laughs> you know. She's a real pro. <laughs> CNN updates. Jesus. Mark. I know I we're know. in the apocalypse. It's, yeah. I know. We're on the, right the verge now. of it's the apocalypse. It's presidential election night, and I'm very distracted. I apologize. No. It's, this is, it's, this it's is, technically it's my son's um, soccer club update. <laughs> <laughs> Super embarrassed. Well, I hope he's That's winning at least. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's a practice. But, <laughs> but when I met, Boone, do you remember when I met you and I, I called you by your character name and you were so cantankerous and rude. I was so upset. And then when DL told me about the movie and like, I would like you to be a part of it and da 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 da. Closer to the mic, babe. And da 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 da. There you go. I said, who do you want me to make out with? <laughs> who am I supposed to be with? He's so mean to me. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like yeah. it. Boone, I like, apparently, I, like, I like when you're mean to me. Well, well, there's <laughs> women like bad boys. They're right there. Yeah. Oh, Boone. Boone. There you go. Like Boone. Like I. I. I've only just met you, but holy shit, dude! If if you ever get a chance, uh, if you know fans that are out there, if you ever get a chance to meet this gentleman, I'll tell you what. Intimidating. Uh, and you can tell, <laughs> no, he's a very, you have a very intimidating presence Males. and you can tell, you can tell why you've worked for so long I playing see right through it. these, you've, oh, you've played I a lot of, play bad you, know, guys. you play a lot of detectives, you play a, a lot of tough, uh, kind of tough, uh, no, tough guys. No, have no. you ever played anybody? No, I like, he I was interrogated by Batman and yeah. lived through it. Fuck yes. you. Know, that's amazing. No, but that's only, so amazing. St- like we've had a lot of actors and a lot of interesting people come on the show and the only other person that we've ever had on here who I was kind of like, oh man, this is this guy's uh, this guy. I you know you could like uh, I feel like could could uh, kick some kick someone's ass <laughs> like right out the fuck right off the fucking building was uh, was Keith David was the only yeah. other person we've who ever had in here. Keith David, who yeah. he's, he's who's got Keith David, he's got this well and uh, I'm embarrassed. To he's ask got that. a very low voice, he's yes. big, yeah. and he uses it you know? all <laughs> the time. <laughs> yeah. Well, I had eaten some of uh, some I know of Keith. Mike Black's. He's, he's a very sweet, he's a very nice sweet guy, very sweet guy. <laughs> yeah. But I had eaten some of Mike Black's French fries right before the show and he was like you never mess with another man's french fries and i was like holy shit like, yes sir absolutely uh, that's that's amazing um where uh let's yeah i was intimidated too you're by of, keith 
by you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when when you uh, started not working anymore. on uh... <laughs> not anymore. No. <laughs> when you he's when like, you, I'll fix uh, that. Yeah. <laughs> when you started working on no. on Sons of Anarchy, did you already ride a motorcycle at that point, or how did that come about? Oh come on, man! Riding, All this stuff is time. out there for a hundred years. No, I know, yes, but I rode I rode motorcycles when I was young, yeah. and then I stopped because. Well, for one, I moved to New York City. You can't have you, back then. The the roads were impassable. Yeah. I mean, this is in the seventies and eighties. There was no money being put into the roads. They, you couldn't. Where do you park a bike? I, I mean, my car, my battery got stolen out of my car like twenty five times, wow. and that was Shit. with a chain on the thing. And, and, <laughs> oh you gosh. Know, I mean, Shit. That you know, New York was rough back then, really rough. And r- a motorcycle in New York would have it, there were there were no motorcycles yeah, in no New way. York. That's a at, yeah at that time, and there still aren't that many motorcycles. I mean, the the Hell's Angels, yes, they had their club on Third Third Street, and I never saw them ride their bikes. Is that? Is, <laughs> let's put it down. <laughs> Uh, uh, Matt, you know, real quick before we continue, um, I had a weird thing recently. I had a, another fireball moment. A fireball moment? Yeah, you know, like a fireball moment. That's like when you drink fireball whiskey and then uh, just, you know, something amazing and extraordinary happens. Mm-hmm. You know, like cause it, when you drink fireball whiskey, you never know yeah, what's going to happen. Yeah, crazy stuff happens. Crazy right. stuff happens. Yeah, no, it's true. So, um, you know, we were uh, we were doing the nighttime show live and having this, you know, great time, and everybody was having fun. And as the night was coming to an end here at the, you know, Hollywood Improv, mm-hmm. I uh, I did uh, uh, two shots, mm-hmm. you know, at the bar. Um, really great stuff, and uh, of uh, of the of fireball. And then uh, I started wandering to my car, but somehow I got lost on Melrose. I turned down a corner. I turned another corner. I turned a different way, and I ended up in this forest. Um, mm-hmm. which I, I guess now is a park that's nearby, but I, uh, it was a much bigger park than I've ever seen before. Mm-hmm. So now I'm wandering through this park at like two o'clock in the morning. It's very, very dark and I can see the trees and you can hear, you know, the, everything buzzing. And I swear to you, out of nowhere, I see Bigfoot. Wow. Yeah. Like the Bigfoot. The Bigfoot. He comes. Did he look like uh, Harry and the Henderson's He Bigfoot? was ve- like, just like, just like that. <laughs> wow. Like very kind of ape-like, but very, very tall, really huge muscles and gigantic. And he comes around the corner and I froze. I was very scared. All yeah, right? I think if you see Bigfoot, you got to stop. Oh, yeah, yeah. I stopped. I got real scared. And I look over and I go, I go, oh, my gosh. Uh, I go, Bigfoot, it's, it, it, are you Bigfoot? Yes. Bigfoot. That's what Yeti he said. Bigfoot. I said, oh, wow. Uh, well, uh, hey there, Bigfoot. It's a, it's a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. No pictures. Oh. <laughs> I can't. I don't. Everyone wants a selfie. I don't have time. I can't. They put on the Instagram the whole thing, and they always the wrong filter. Do they face swap with it. you? Always. Uh, Every, they, I face can't the they do. They face swap with him. I it's can't a- go five minutes without the face swap. I don't like it. And you don't even think, they, like, you wouldn't even think the app would be able to recognize the face because it's so right. and enormous the and kids, different. They have no class. They just take the picture. They don't, hi, how are you? My name's Marty, what have you. No, they just, they just start, take a picture. Start flashing they take right, a picture. Away. right away. It's the, so rude. Oh, uh, the photo bomb. Don't get me started I, on the photo bomb. It's too much. Sometimes they do uh, fingers over your head. They sure. do bunny ears. I'm trying to eat a unicorn, and I, halfway through, these kids come up, and they get behind me with the thing. Thing and the, oh, the, yeah, we're gonna hashtag. Oh, I can't have it. So basically, I get I Matt. You know, I was mm-hmm. I was very hungry, and so I turned to Bigfoot and I said, uh, "Hey, Bigfoot, do you want to maybe go to Cantor's? I would love to go to Cantor's. Yeah, mm-hmm. it turns out Bigfoot is like a huge fan of Cantor's. Of course. Yeah, he's like he said his favorite kind of fish is. Gefilte, uh, gefilte fish. fish. Gefilte fish. Yeah, yeah, so we go there. We have some gefilte fish. We have a nice matzo ball soup. A nice soup. I had one more shot of fireball whiskey, mm-hmm. and out of nowhere, out of nowhere, I'm not kidding you, he vanished. Wow. Yeah, I'm telling you, fireball whiskey, you never know what kind of adventures you're going to have. All right, let's get back to the show. I don't pay the check.
Yeah. Is that where you grew up? Did you grow up in New York? Or, no, or I, I moved to New York. I, I'm, I'm from the Midwest. Yeah. Yes. When did you move the, to New York? The part of the country that's giving our country away to <laughs> Donald Trump at this moment. God, what a nightmare. <laughs> when did I... I moved to Vermont, um, and then I moved to New York, and I lived in New York for, for quite a while. So. Did you start uh, acting? Uh, yes, uh, I what, started... What age did you start acting? 28, at? about, is when really? I started acting, yeah. And, and I started working with a guy named Tom Wright, uh, and then... Uh, Steve Buscemi and I were partners for about eight years. Wow. We did a lot oh of theater God. together. Um, what were some of the shows you guys did? All, we wrote all the shows. Oh, we, wow. Yeah. Holy shit. So that was what we did. Where were you guys doing that? Was that, that- downtown, all downtown. Yeah. yeah. Are well, any of them like available to to see anywhere? No, videotapes, they didn't, you know, they were, they, you. Could, I mean, yeah. we had yeah. some of our shows taped and- we never made any copies, and at one point, some Japanese magazine wanted to do a thing about us, so we took, like, you know, the tapes over to them. They had an office on Broadway, and they never gave them back. Oh, no. Oh, so that's where all the tapes... So they might do. still be there for the... You know, <laughs> no, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> well, I, I mean, you know, so that was... But we did, we did a lot of... Uh, very dark humor. Oh, cool. wow! That sounds like a trip to see the last play the that we did on stage was was in, took place in a morgue. <laughs> and you wrote oh, these. Wow. You guys wrote these plays yourselves, yeah. the two of you. Yeah. Oh wow, that's amazing, man! Did you ever we, do any? We other- had a band and called the Pawns of Love and what? stuff like that. Very cool. Oh, now you were a guest star in a lot of shows that are sort of iconic. Uh, you did the Wonder Years. You did Seinfeld. You did. Uh, uh, let's see. Was it that's Easter it. Blues? That's all I did. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. I really didn't do uh, a lot of TV guest stars because it, it used to be when you were a guest star on a television show and you looked like me or acted like me, all you did was come in. There were there were all the same three scenes every mm-hmm. time. Like you get arrested, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> then you get to taken in one time, and they go, "So do you know Bob Levine?" No, I don't know Bob Levine. <laughs> and then, 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 another fifteen minutes later, they go and do a lot of stuff, and it's revealed that I knew Bob Levine. And they, <laughs> they come back and they go, like, "All right, all right, I know Bob Levine." But <laughs> well, you were typecasting. That's yeah. every that's every how, single. Every, that's how it was. Every, every that's crime show. Every, yeah. every, every crime actor yeah. Yeah. is. So we're I, all I just typecasting. Didn't do that. Yeah. yeah. So you just said no. Was Quantum Leap the same way? Was. Bob Quantum Levine. Leap, I played a, a biker. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Who knew By Bob the way, Levine? did you know Bob 50s. Levine at that time? <laughs> I knew Bob Levine. <laughs> Charisma, how did you he get- He drove his motorcycle here, by the way. <laughs> oh, did, did he really? Yeah. Oh my God, that's amazing. He's what, so hot. How did, <laughs> how did you get started? Where did you, where did you grow how up? Did I, oh, where did I, oh, it had nothing to do that's with Hollywood. two questions. Oh, well, where did, you, where did you grow like, up? Where did you grow up? Uh- I had a nomadic childhood, so a lot of places. Okay, um, that's probably so the my, best answer to that question. She I've is ever heard. so uncomfortable when you, <laughs> with that question. Am I? I don't know. It looks like it. No, no. It's okay. just hard to answer because right. I don't have one. I, I, I suppose I could Vegas. Why I was fifteen? Why was it a, like a nomadic childhood? We, did you have family that was moving around a lot? Like I mean, with, uh, yeah, uh, like military family. Not or military. Other... She <laughs> ran we away. We were on a the lot. run, <laughs> Bob. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. All right. Bob Levine. <laughs> Bob. They were literally nomads. <laughs> <laughs> I was a gypsy. What can I tell you? <laughs> uh, how did well? How did you get started in acting? How did, how did uh, this get started? I was always involved in the in the arts, and uh, I grew up dancing primarily i was a ballerina and that was my kind of forte and to performance or public performance and then you know acting ha- kind of happened way later i was going to be an english teacher i thought when i was younger i was hosting at mirabelle restaurant on sunset and uh i met some influencers it would be the buzzword of today's use <laughs> sure and um they suggested i get a commercial agent because they felt like well you could earn more money than hostessing and um dancing get, get <laughs> i was a classical ballerina I know, let's just get it straight yeah. um, that's what i call them too but you know what 
that's kind of hot. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't mind if right now taking some lessons on that. Um, work, work, work. Um, <laughs> you just lit up the internet. Just yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, like, mm-hmm. there's nothing wrong with, with being a dancer. If that's your choice, good for you. Mm-hmm. Now, your first IMDb credit is the biggest show in the world at the time. It was Baywatch. Mm. Yeah. Actually, should that be my throwback Thursday? Yeah, <laughs> this week? yeah, totally. I just was going through, ironically, I have a picture of myself and um, David. Um, mm-hmm. What? The Hoff? Yeah, do you want to see it? Yes, yes please. please. You <laughs> yeah, well, the For rest, of, the rest of you will Stephen's see it on Thursday. Jaw just okay. drops almost <laughs> to the floor when you heard that. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of like... That's the third word you've spoken on in thus far. <laughs> <laughs> if you can call that a word. <laughs> right. It, what's the word? <laughs> <laughs> I, I believe was the word. Uh, I'm digging. Here we go. You ready? Mm-hmm. Me and the hop. Oh my God! Look at that. From That's Baywatch. amazing. Oh, we got to get that. You got to get that. And look how healthy he way. looks. He looks so you know. Wow. And he was in yeah. a convertible Mercedes when like they didn't do that then. Was that your first acting job? It was not. I actually have one of those pictures too. Uh, really? I, my. What, what was, was your first? under the robe? That's what. <laughs> a bikini. Oh. Oh. A bikini because it was. You Baywatch. just came out of his trailer. Bye, David. <laughs> you know what, See Boone? You. You're, you're supposed to be on my side. I am. I am. That was, good that was, stories here. That's not a good fucking story. Wow. That's a tragedy. A come tragedy. on, what do you mean? <laughs> would you? He, would, would you hook up with? David's, yeah. Like, we did hook up. I don't know. You know what? I, of anarchy, all of a sudden, it just got very sexist. Right. Would you blow David Hoffman? <laughs> David Hasselhoff? Hello. Hasselhoff. Whatever you'd you'd have a much bigger career in Germany. Baywatch, absolutely. The biggest I, star I ever then. Absolutely. You'd have a huge career in Germany if you did. He absolutely. still talks about himself in the plural. Yeah. Does he really? <laughs> oh, yeah. He does. <laughs> we went to not Germany the, last week. Not, <laughs> not the third person, but plural. That's next level narcissism. <laughs> that's even that's worse. That's rad. That's amazing. Um, David that's... Hasselhoff likes you. <laughs> What's his name? Hasselhoff? Yeah. Both, yeah. both Hasselhoffs. Don't hassle the Hoff. I'm kidding. <laughs> what, um, was your, what was your first uh, TV job? Mm. TV job was Baywatch, was Baywatch, I believe. But first acting job? My first acting job was a video vixen in the grunge area. Era. Oh. Area. Oh, in, in a, in a music video? video? Area. I said area. <laughs> yeah. um, era. So in Detroit. Era. No. What, no, what yeah. music no. out of what, grunge what area? Music, do you remember what it was? Um, it was Good for Bad was the name of the band, I believe. They never made it. And uh, oh. that was my first acting job. What? And I was super Dancing, proud. Right? Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Damn it, Boone. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Ballerining. Uh-huh. Ballerining. <laughs> That's what he meant. Boone, what, um, was, your, what was your first uh, TV job? Um, <sighs> that question really bummed him out. Why'd yeah, you, do- <laughs> uh, you know, it was in New York. It was uh, that, that thing. Um, it was a thing, but I don't remember the name of it. I, do, I really don't. Happy Let's now, have an Steven. Update. <laughs> no, there were only a couple of shows being shot back then. It was the, with the Australian dude. Uh, Paul Hogan? The Enforcer or the... Oh, something. the Equalizer. Equalizer. Ah. I, I don't know his name. I believe that was my yeah. first television Yeah, 1985. There's a couple things that are listed before that on your IMDb. Yeah, I did movies before that. Uh, but yeah, they were <gasps> films that look like... The, yeah. the first movie I did was in Calle de Cinema. The, the 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 French magazine uh, that was like the classiest magazine oh. in the world, wow. a, a movie magazine in the world at that at that time, you know, started by Godard and all those yeah. folks over there. Oh my God! But it was you know it was a, a movie that Leonardo De Ca- uh, Leonard, Leonardo mm-hmm. Katz, mm-hmm. who's an uh, Argentinian who was living in New York at the time. He he, it was all stills. The whole movie was shot in oh, stills. Okay. Wow. It's crazy. Wow. It's crazy movie. So that's why I got into Kaeda Cinema. They just love the way that, what was that, movie that style called? was. I don't know. Heart of Gold or something like uh, that. One it, was, of your, it was based on a. It was I mean, you're on, sitting there with the IMDb uh, list. Cocktail. Help them out. Well, well the, the it's first probably one we got on there. Is Anybody's Woman, a short from 1981. And the next thing is Variety. Anybody's Woman. And then Born in Flames and The Way It Is. And then <sighs> Film House Fever. Yeah. IMDb. 
So, and then it gets no, the that's end. every all of that is correct. Except yeah. I don't know. It's like what who, any Born in Flames is. is a cool title. It says it's a short. Born in Flames. Uh, I, uh, um, yeah, that was. Uh, it, it was a woman who um, was named after the 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 strangler, the woman who killed a lot of men. She, she took that name. It's on there, I'm sure. Well, one of your one of your uh, early credits that I'm a big uh, big fan of is. Uh, uh, New York stories, and you got to work with Woody Allen on that. No, no, Martin Scorsese. Yeah, but he was, but Woody was. <laughs> it was it? that's three, the, that three was, separate things. Oh, so you did Martin, Allen, so you right. did Martin Scorsese. Oh yeah, I One, sure did. Holy shit! Was that inti- is there anyone who you've worked with that was very intimidating? We didn't me. really get. We didn't. He's really intimidated get by me. Well, Martin, <laughs> really? It's a long story, so I won't really tell tell it. Really? Is it an interesting one? Duh. <laughs> We're like trying to coax him out of him. Come on. You gotta you, come on. No. no, no? Not, not everybody I've has never, a Martin Scorsese I've never story. Publicly told that story, so all the more reason. <laughs> <laughs> this is the time. Well, um that's all right. You don't have to you don't have to no. do that. Cool. We don't hey, look, hear maybe about Howard Scorsese Stern anyway. Yeah. About, about Marty anyways, you know. Forget <laughs> it. Forget him. <laughs> all right all right well uh, he just kind of told the story in, in a silent way just <laughs> uh, in char- gestures charisma um, i have no marty scorsese stories yeah but you do uh, i do have a leo story tell Ooh. can you tell us the no. your leo do you have a ben <laughs> savage story from doing boy meets world <laughs> i wish i did leo dicaprio story mm. you do you have a leo i mean not really he wasn't super famous then i have actually a couple he was on the set of gilbert grape mm-hmm. and um david gadelon was one of the producers at the time he'd lost his high which he was very very upset about on oh. the beach in malibu at Arnon Melchon's house <laughs> oh my God. and he had given up hope that he would find it and I said I will find it for you and I did find it for him Whoa. in the <laughs> sand because I'm really good at that what yeah it's crazy you have special That's, power wow. I do mm. it's called tenacity (laughs) and so i found it and i returned it to him and he as thanks said sent me a bottle of champagne a high of my own and an invitation to the set of what's eating gilbert grape with juliet lewis and johnny depp and leo dicaprio where they were doing reshoots in malibu so he invited me to come up and i went and i picked blades of grass and sucked the milk from the root and shot the shit with leo and johnny depp made fun of my my beauty mark on my knee and well, <laughs> mole. Let's just call it what it is. <laughs> it was a mole. And it was just like a really cool experience. Wow. That's a, that's amazing. That's, that's, that's incredible. Yeah. Uh, another time was at um, the house of blues back in the day when the house of blues was like all about music venues mm-hmm. and serious music. And Leo was there and I had dreads. I thought that was a good idea. You know, I was experimental at the it time. Was the 90s, you know. <laughs> no, I just thought, you know, for the night, Sure. Um, I would have dreads, and he asked me why my hair was so messy. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> like it's messy on purpose. You don't I like spent it. Four months with Leo on, <laughs> uh, on the uh, fuck you, which, Bone. Well, I, uh, <laughs> Story topper. <laughs> no, I just did uh, on uh, the uh, the quick and the quick dead. And the Great movie. Oh yeah, with Sharon Stone. Wow. It was Sharon, Sharon and Leo, and we got to be you know. So we were a long time out there in Tucson, and um, <laughs> Tucson. Leo was supposed to do a, a love scene, his first love scene, I believe, mm-hmm. with not with 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 Sharon and with this other. Uh, I can't remember the her name, but this other woman on the on the in the movie, and you know it was like you know two months in or something like that, and. <laughs> He popped his first whisker. <laughs> wow. Like the first facial hair he ever had. One uh-huh. one, one whisker. Hair. So I, I started calling him one whisker. <laughs> Shit. And I was relentless. And no. So one day, I mean, I was relentless. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And, Shocking. I mean, I had I played a guy with one eye. Played a Again? Guy with, with scars. <laughs> <laughs> and I, 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 I do that? Sounds of anarchy at the end. Oh, I, watched no. the, I watched the show. That's true. 
Okay, I go on. I never thought about that. And so, I, you know, again. I just, I mean, we, we had a lot of fun. I, yeah. And, 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 but I, w- I was relentless about the one. <laughs> and it was coming up to the time that he was a, should I shave it? Should I shave it? Should I shave it? Should I shave it? Like it? <laughs> and would you advise? And, and I just would, I just, I just kept on him and on him and on him. Oh, and, man. and he came up, finally, he came, he, he just, appeared it was like five steps up to my trailer i don't know why but mm-hmm. all of this was they were high or something and and he he came up to my to my trailer in the middle of the day i was taking a nap or something and he's like boom get out here get out here we're doing it we're going at it i'm gonna kill you man because he was so frustrated <laughs> from me calling him one with <laughs> I like, Leo, please, come on, man. <laughs> Go take a pill. Oh, shit. That was holy shit. I mean, I couldn't go on about a, a no. lot of stuff. I like that, that movie, someone woke you up to fight you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like wake up, fight me. That's his only chance. And, you you know, got to get him when he's half asleep. That's that's yeah. what I would have done. I would have like point. snuck in and then Sn- beat him up he's while not, he's asleep. He was in the brains department. He, he had just come from that. The, What's from eating Gilbert, Gilbert Grape? Oh yeah, I think it was really good because I remember at the time when he's on What's Eating Gilbert Grape and we were picking grass and sitting, you know, talking between scenes and Juliet Lewis was up. He was talking about. Gosh, you know, should I change agencies? You know, they've been so good to me, and then CAA like wanted <laughs> well, he me. Got a, he got an Oscar nomination yeah. for that, oh, but wow. it was before we before were doing that. reshoots. Yeah. You yeah. know, it was he, before all of that. He got the Hoopla. Oscar nomination when we were doing the your Sons movie. of Anarchy, and he what? before Forget that was, was yeah. always in the in the group van, and it was like a, a forty minute or more ride out yeah. to the set. Oh, okay. And oh, everybody wanted to kill him anyway. He's very he, high energy back he then. He talks. He was yeah, very, he, very chubby. high energy. And so when when he got the Oscar nomination, he was like, I get my own van. And everybody. <laughs> 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 now, what was uh, Gene Hackman like on that movie? I Gene loved Hackman was. Him. Yeah, well, he's. Yeah, he was. He. It's like he. he he's so good at what he does. Yeah. I mean. He was the fastest draw. Mm-hmm. I mean, for yeah. real, oh, on wow. the thing, by far Shit. the fastest draw. Wow. And we had the 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 fast draw champion, Mel um, um, Thel Reed, mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. the 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 quick draw was back then. He, I think Thel's like eighty now. I don't, mm-hmm. he probably still is the he who doubled Audie Murphy. Oh wow, Thel Reed, yeah, and was the the coolest gun guy in the world. Wow, and uh, Thel. So Thel, you know. Could, knew what knew what was going on with that and 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 gene hagman was the fastest draw he wasn't there to make any new friends that's all you know i mean <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. You it just know. seems no, like he was but he was cool as, he was almost born to be in westerns like you look at him his work <clears throat> yeah. in that his work in unforgiven is amazing oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. and it's yeah. just like he's perfect for that style of acting like if you want that he was the best there ever was well, oh, he, I, he was he, great can in everything. you name and movie that Gene Hackman was Wasn't, not good in? I yeah. cannot. No. Yeah. No. I grew up watching him, and yeah. and he did a lot of variation. And and yeah. Quick and the Dead was kind of in the height of Sharon Stone's like, which yeah. she was like crushing it because it was right Sharon near, was so just great. after basically right, Sharon right after, yeah. yeah, she could. Sharon's awesome. At that point. I mean, really, she is an awesome. Yeah. She's so person. hot. She's still, still remember yeah. your first She's meeting still with her. Hot. Gorgeous, yeah. I remember the first time I saw Sharon. And, <laughs> and what happened? She came in. We were all like at a. It was the reading, first reading of the movie, and she <laughs> came in and she walked around the the table, and I swear to God, I was like, just my mouth was hanging open. <laughs> okay, but why? Like for you, because like because you talked about Martha about, earlier no, having I, sex yeah, appeal. Yeah, that's right. And 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 she's one of those women. There's something, I don't know, there was something like so, like a glow, the skin, the the way she moved, everything. And she is, the, the coolest thing about Sharon is that she's funny, very, <laughs> very, very I'm funny. not surprised. I'm not surprised. She's a quick I She's made me piss. <laughs> <laughs> laughing i'm not uh, kidding in my you know i'm rolling on the floor laughing that's and just how for, funny for people is. listening wow. uh curzon brought up that uh, we were talking about martha stewart earlier there's before we started taping the show oh, and right. boone was yeah. saying that martha stewart is actually one of the sexiest women he's ever seen met 
Met. Never met. met. Yeah. Okay. I went up to her in a bar in New York City, and I was just like, oh. Mm. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yeah. That, she's got that, something. Yeah. She mm. she was with uh. Martha she? has something or Sharon? I missed that. I think Martha has something, but I mean, I watched two of in her the sex shows. appeal department. Uh, I'm, I'm a shocked. Fan. Keep in mind, Matt bakes a lot. I do bake. I watch Martha so. bakes. And by the and way, Martha your Stewart's brownies were school. amazing. Thank you. So yeah. good. I'm, I'm pretty... that macadamia nut was Walnut next. Nut. It was you can, walnuts, you can... chocolate chips, and white chocolate chips in there. Okay, well, uh, our producer, whatever your nuts were great. Thank you. <laughs> uh, is it over? Are we done? Will you, okay, will you, uh, will you uh, check check online real quick and just see? I'm pretty sure Martha Stewart dated Anthony Hopkins during uh, Silence. All right, of the I will Google this. I'll find out. You, you check during it. Silence. Yeah. Of the Lambs. She, 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 was she was with him during Silence wow. of the Lambs. Come on, this is this is. I mean, you can double check it for me, but I'm 90 percent sure. And Please then, check on that. I seriously uh, doubt it. He's you're been making that. Up. You dreamed that. Check He's been married for a hundred years, and that's got to be and, rumored. And she was He's an integrous man. That I mean, that's a long time ago. Yes, there is a website. That says, did you know Martha Stewart dated Anthony Hopkins? Okay, during- Why they broke up is pretty yeah. funny. All right, all right, all right, all right. I mean, here's, this is the story, because this is a long time ago. Talk to uh, me. They were dating during, during uh, while he was filming the movie, and when the movie came out, he brought her to, the scre- to like a screening of it. Right. She saw the screening and was like, I can never- uh, be, be with, with you, you ever again. again. This is the most. You, you're terrifying. You're a very. Right. I, I just want you to eat a guy's face. I can't. <laughs> this is over. And wow, she, she dropped him like a sack of potatoes. And I believe she got. Uh, and then he, like, he met his. I believe he met his wife. Stephen, amazingly, your girlfriend didn't drop you after seeing Storks. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. She's like you played a moron pigeon. I can't. Date I've only been in one. You got to see. I've that. Only been Were you in, in a costume? No, no, I no. was in an animated, animated movie that just came out. Oh, well, that come yeah. on, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, what's the uh, what? When it comes to typecasting, do you guys ever have you have you dealt with it as a thing where you kind of do you ever feel like it's it's a hindrance on your careers, or do you ever? <laughs> <laughs> or do you feel like it's like a like a like a blessing? Because I'll tell you what, when it comes like as a like for me, I'm like I, I've had a really weird career, like where I get to I've gotten to do a bunch of weird stuff, and I haven't nothing's been very consistent. Weird, define like, weird, fu- like fun, like like I did a Storks animated. I did like an animated movie, and then I did a kids TV show for five years. You know, like none of those are, but, but a so lot of weird. Kid, a lot of young who were stuff. the professors? I mean, producers who allowed that? <laughs> I, I'm telling you, you we, and I, kids, I mean, me really? and a bunch of freaking. He yelled at kids a lot kids. on the show. I yelled at kids on the oh. show. I was like nice. the angry yelling yeah. guy. But it's like I'm. I almost have gotten uh, typecast in a weird way. Is like. A bad guy that's like a clowny bad guy. Like I'm not no one's taking me seriously as a bad guy, but they keep putting me in the role as like the villain of of these children's movies and children's TV shows. But I mean you guys have both played you guys have both been on, you know, enormous amount of television and movies and stuff. Like how do you deal with it? No, I really haven't <clears throat> been on that much television again. No, mostly again. movies. Yeah. Yeah, mostly but movies. Yeah. You Except haven't the experienced- seven years that I, I mean, did. Wait, so, but earlier you were talking about typecasting. You were speaking about, I like how my voice sounds when no. I speak into the microphone. It's, it's so really well. well. We like it too. It's- so, um, Mark, <laughs> I mean, Boone. Yes, um, dancer. <laughs> ballerina dancer Ball- to you. <laughs> Ballerini. Um, what ups? Was I typecast? Were yes. you typecast or typecast? As, as, a, as a sexual predator. <laughs> much, many, many. That's so gross. Uh, yeah, no, it was. I mean, I have- a, You were? Seriously? Yeah. Oh, yeah, early. Oh, that was one of the things. That's a bummer. Yeah, but it <laughs> That'll was- bring you down. Exactly. Like actresses who will never speak to me again and things like that. Oh. Wasn't fun. So I stopped doing that a long Rude. time. Rude. Quite a while ago. Are there, are there parts that you've always- wanted to play or types uh, type of characters that you've wanted to play that you haven't gotten to play of course of like, course like what like what kind of stuff oh come on man i'm i you know there's a lot of parts that i wish i had played yeah yeah well, i mean look uh you know in uh steven you remember how you told me you wanted to play the punisher it's the same sort of thing <laughs> oh, it's I, everyone has parts that they, you know. no i know i know i'm just i just mean like you know uh you know like a you know, typically, you, have you done a lot of comedy? Have there been, been comedy stuff that you've wanted to do or that you would like to do? I 
I, I no. No. <laughs> Comedy. I mean, yeah, I did. I mean, what like Steve and I did very dark humor. It was it yeah, you know, but it there were no jokes. But and I don't believe in jokes really and and the 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 use of the word comedy is really been abused um you know it, it, in the in theatrical real terms a comedy is a story with a happy ending sure it's not a, a string of jokes that don't go anywhere mean anything or you know and that's what you know happens these days in yeah comedies so that's a lot of garbage so I don't know. I don't, you know, I don't, fortunately I don't really watch much of it, but, um, you know, yeah. uh, I, I mean, I've been doing some, I guess con- I did a couple of episodes of last man on earth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Recently yeah. did uh, that. I guess that's what you would call a comedy. Yeah. They, that's a, they, that's kind of a comedy. I wasn't very yeah. funny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I, they, I don't know whether they are there any got roles that I, they expected. Are there any roles that you passed on that you look back and you're like, you know what? I probably should have done that. Well, there were there were many roles. There's many roles that I couldn't do because I had cross. Okay. You know, like like Commitments playing already. Mickey Rooney's retarded son. <laughs> I I really I'm very sorry. I did not do that movie. Mm. I yeah. would have loved to have done that movie. Yeah. And um <clears throat> and working I couldn't work I couldn't do a movie with, uh, working with uh Peter O'Toole which oh, I man. you know yeah. I just couldn't I was had a c- commitments and I couldn't sure. do it and that killed me. Yeah. You know, things like that. So That killed me just hearing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh charisma I got to I got to talk to you about uh Buffy the Vampire Slayer okay. and, and and then on to Angel. Uh-huh. Um, We're talking about Peter O'Toole and we cut to. No, no. <laughs> hey. Look at her doing two things at once. I'm a woman. Only women. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yesterday I was at a, at this uh, toy company and I was like meeting with all these like toy designer people mm-hmm. and we're all talking and I said that you were coming in that you guys were coming in and we were going to be talking and stuff. And they, f- they there was, there was uh, about three of the employees at this toy company that lost their fucking minds when I said that you were coming in because they were like, they actually, two of them have a podcast all about Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Shut and, up. And they were like, oh my, oh my God. Oh, mm. uh, what, bleh. Like they were just, they were, they were losing it. And, um, and so I have to ask you a couple questions about, about that show. Like, how did you, how did that, how did you come to be on that show? Like, how did that happen for you? Mm. Short version. I was on Malibu Shores, an Aaron Aaron Spelling show. Um, It was for NBC at the time. It was uh, clearly not going to happen. The network was on the set regularly in the makeup and hair department. You could just feel the pressure. And we were eight episodes in. And that starred Carrie Russell and Tony Luca and Essence Atkins, Charisma Carpenter. <laughs> Can you imagine those two people like on the same wow. show? It's crazy. Oh but um, it was uh, that w- that was what was going on. So my agency had called and said, "We have a show called Buffy the Vampire Slayer. We want you to go out for it." And I said, "Okay." So I did. And I read for Buffy, and then they said Gail, being they, Gail Berman and Joss were in the room, just the two. And they said, we want to bring you in uh, actually for Cordelia. And I said, okay, so can you go prepare the dialogue right now and then come back and read? And I said, sure. So then I did. And they're like, and then I got a call from my agency and they said, we'd like you to come back for producers and network. And I said, okay. So I was working on Malibu Shores and I was working at the time down in Long Beach and I had to go to Burbank for the audition and it was starting to rain and, and, (laughs) In L.A., that's, like, tricky. That's a oh, four-hour yeah. drive at yeah, that point. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So, I get, and I had a beeper <laughs> then. <laughs> Shit. Because, you know, it was then, and this is now. And I got the text message from my my agency, and there was, and my agent uh, calls me and says, you know, it's her number, 911. Mm-hmm. And I'm literally stuck yeah. on the 101. But I'm, I, I see Barham in the distance, and that's the street that leads to um, Burbank, 
I'm kind of freaking out because it's the election and my friend is giving me updates. But anyway, um, <laughs> fuck, who's going to be president? <laughs> so um, I uh, get off the uh, the interstate and I get off on Barham and there's a liquor store right there at the off ramp. And I pull over to that pay phone right there. I call my agent and she said, they're going to leave. Where are you? And I'm like, yeah, what? What do you mean they're going to leave? I've been in traffic for like nine hours yeah. and it's raining. And I'm, I got another like 10 minutes to go tell him to order a fucking pizza because <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like this is like, I, they have to wait. Yeah. They, they can't like say we're not auditioning anymore. Like it, you know, and when yeah. you're young, it's so funny. Cause like, that's such a bold, I would never like now at my age, I'd be like, really? They're gonna go? <laughs> oh, damn. You know, but then, you know, sure. you're in your twenties and you're like, it's life and death. Mm-hmm. You yeah. would no, not, not do it now. No. Um, and you would do it then. There's oh just something God. to say, <laughs> what? Boone. There's just something to say about um, being young and um, Look, where I, you feel like you're invincible, like yeah. nothing can kill you, and fuck you, and you can wait. And it yeah. wasn't literally now like that you extreme. Should feel like that. Well, when, look, you're when, not alone in those thoughts, and I will work that out in my therapist's office. <laughs> Thank you. But then, you know, I was bolder, and I was like, you know, tell them to order a pizza or something, you know, because I'm coming. Like they're not leaving until I get there. So order a pizza, wait. And so I go, and I get the part. And wait, it was first you ran in and you got like a bottle of tequila. And downed about no, that a quarter was, of it. That was now. <laughs> that was oh, I that's saw how that. It works right now. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. <laughs> Were they eating pizza when you got there? No. No. Yeah. <laughs> that would now, had it. you seen the movie before this? Oh or? wait, wait, wait! It was a tell- you have to finish the end of the story. So what happened? She got I the did. part. You got it. I got, you got. You walked. So I read for Joss. Oh, okay. All right. I read for Joss. I read for Garth. <laughs> and I think partly too, maybe it's possible that that was my response. That that's why then I was Cordelia because that's something Cordelia mm-hmm. would they do. They had you in for yeah. Buffy, right? Like that's who they had you. Yeah, in Yeah, I'm so right? over that drama. Like, <laughs> oh, you were gonna be Buffy? Like, yes. Yeah, Everybody yeah, yeah. and their mother tested, and, and I'm sorry, yeah. I never yeah. tested for Buffy. It was, um, but I did read. Like all of us were reading. They were trying to, you know, yeah, plug yeah. the right actor in the right. Especially well, like I heard about sometimes the, uh, the dialogue. The dialogue for that main for the main character is usually the one that they have like figured they're like figured out that character so that way they can test everything it else on is an- else. ancillary well if you hear yeah. about no, no. the way uh, uh coppola did the lost boys or not the lot the 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 outsiders great uh, movie so like he brought in like every young actor in hollywood i heard rob lowe tell the story on howard stern a while ago but he said he brought in every young actor in hollywood and they all sat in a circle and they just like handed scripts like down the road and they each read every single part with one another Jeez. and they tested like in every variation and yeah. uh he said he he didn't and Rob Lowe didn't get in. He didn't get in that movie, yeah. but you he was what, there for all you that. You know what's Tom so Cruise beautiful and, about yeah. that, those times then, though, that's different than now. And I don't know if you have this experience because you've only done one television show. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> oh, the um, look he's given right now. <laughs> no, I mean because he's fancy. That's why yeah. I mean it's a compliment. But you know, I'm anyway. Um, <laughs> the point is that back in the day, then you your answer was immediate. Like I knew I had the part. I felt it in the room, number one. Number two, it was consistent. I got the answer the next day. Nowadays, the audition process and the achievement of attaining a role is a lot different. And there's just so many more people voting. And there's so many. It, you're really put through the ringer. I, I recently had uh, somebody ask me to put myself on tape for an audition in New York that they're casting in New York. And I was like, oh, I don't do that. I don't uh I don't, I don't go on tape. Like I'll just, I'll go in, in audition in, in a room with people, but I don't want to be on tape. And my, my manager was like, you have to do that. Like, that's, it's, it's you are really such a bad boy. And they're like, that's what, <laughs> what everyone does. You are so Was bad. that in but line with that... what your character at the time that you're auditioning for would do or no, say? No, it's just like in my brain as an actor who like used to, you know, yeah. submit through you're drama used... log and yeah. shit, you know, like. You're fucking Faye Dunaway right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm so old. But back but, in my day. Back in the old days, <laughs> when you submitted with a, when a talkies set, began. When you submitted 
<laughs> like I that's that. I, I feel like really that all the time. That the, yeah, I just didn't think that, that was like a thing. That you it's had a to thing. Do. And Maybe now you're doing do animated it. movies. And now you fucking have to do it. Hey, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with animated movies. No, but when you're telling people you won't be on film, that's what happens. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, you know yeah, what? By the I way, had... they have a house in Benedict Canyon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. You know, I had a stupid uh, thing happen where I, I did a I did this commercial and uh, right and I, <laughs> I did this. Oh Okay. I did. I did like some some stupid commercial, and then it paid. Mm-hmm. It paid like a lot of money. And Duh. I, I, right. So great. And so I called my my commercial agent. I go, Hey, why don't you send me up for stuff all the time? And she goes, Well, you told us not to. I was like, What are you talking about? She goes, Two years ago, when you were filming that TV show, you you, you said, Don't you you literally called us and said, Don't ever send me to Santa Monica ever again. And so right. we, we never sent you to Santa Monica. Right. And I was like, well, fucking send me to Santa Monica. Like, <laughs> what an idiot. Make, make, Don't make, listen to me so ever. So stupid. So stupid. <laughs> Santa just, Monica's where I all fuck, the auditions I are. fucking hate Santa Monica. And if I ever Oh, met what's girl, wrong with you? The beach is out there. Yeah, but, it, but date, have you ever try to like date someone who lived in Santa, lives yes. in Santa Monica? We're talking about like, an Hollywood audition that gives you money. I know. I know. But it's totally different. You're mixing. drive. I know. It just takes forever. And I suck at, I hate driving. Third Street Promenade has free parking Listen, all over the place. I mean, this this is, this is funny that you're speaking about this because oh, this is the truth about people that live here. I know. We're the worst. We're, we're like, the, worst uh, the hill. Go over the hill and go over there. I don't go over there. When I, or I gotta go out west? What? Like, we have our little bubbles. So when, <laughs> That's I, it. That, when I lived in New York, I would just, you just go down to, to the 42nd Street or all go somewhere down. like that and you go, and it was fine. You go and you do the audition and then you go home. But like here, it's like a four hour fucking drive and then you have right? to, the whole drive back to thinking about We're improving. You, we're yeah. improving. We're getting I a know. subway. It's happening. It's I gotta doing... be better at things. I'm not, I'm not as good at this. <laughs> if you, you want guys. money, get better at things. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Speaking of that, can I say Boone I Boone is like losing his mind right now. No, no, no. no, no, no. Was, I can't I deal with fine. his fodder. <laughs> no, I, I could have. T- you know, like I, the, I was thinking of the, the in the the, the <clears throat> fourth year of that uh, drama that was the thing with um the aliens and that was at fox the the, the two v no star trek no battlestar uh, galactica is it the one with the people with the patches on their face no no the, alien nation no the uh, the two the redhead and the californication x files got it. okay okay i in in one of the seasons which that that it was at the fox lot and I live on the east side, mm-hmm. which is like a 45-minute yeah. drive, yeah. if you're lucky. Mm-hmm. And I, you know, this was early in the career, and <laughs> out here <laughs> anyway. And so I, they wanted to see me for like 11 shows. Shit. Wow. And of, of, you know, like mm-hmm. almost in a row. So every week I was going out there on a Wednesday <laughs> doing the thing. And then they go, okay, yeah, yeah, that's good. So you'll have to come back tomorrow. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. You, you know, um, and, and I did that like 10, 11 times. And mm-hmm. it was like 10 times. And the 11th time I'm like, sorry, man, you yeah. want me you're going to have to offer me yeah. a show. At that point, I'm they should not... know what you do. Exactly. At that point. Yeah. Yeah. Especially and, at the Fox lot. It's so and inconvenient. it's the same people every and week. Every right week, except different directors. <laughs> all the directors always want me, and they, and the, the, I don't know who was blocking, cock blocking me. <laughs> <laughs> but I never, so then, you know, then they never called me yeah. back after I said, <laughs> you're going to have to offer me after doing that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I devoted already like 30 hours. Of traffic time. Show. Hello, you owe me. Yeah. Yeah. Did- did 30 you get a hours. Call? Did you get a call for the revival of the X-Files? No, and you're just like, fuck never. you, I'm not going? No, I'm, uh, you know, no. So, yeah. That's fascinating. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate yeah. that. Love those. Oh, love man. those. And especially because you park and then they go, you have to walk uh, two miles. Oh, be a like, woman oh, with some pumps oh, on, okay? Shut up. I've seen Just really shut, shut up. I know I'm the worst. I'm sorry. Just shut up with I'm your complaining. The, I, have Where you seen? You don't have Steven. to wear pumps across <laughs> the parking lot. Just be quiet. Lot. Go with it. That's Chris, like go with what it. You, you, that's a choice. Look at Steven. No, but you're a woman and you have to listen to me. You have to wear makeup. You might run into the vice president. Right. 
in okay, the parking why lot. you gotta get sexist? Okay, stop it. <laughs> I'm just saying, as what? a woman, who's getting sexist I'm around just, here? Well, I mean, you're talking about dancing and stuff. Well, what I'm trying to say is, it's it's hard when you're a woman and you have fucking ten pounds of makeup mm-hmm. on your face and you have like a teeny tiny skirt. You're walking around like a geisha girl and you got pumps, but you can put on your flip flops. Geisha which, girls do not wear short skirts. <laughs> Work with me, Boone. I'm going. I'm so. You know, you, this man. is why we're such a great couple <laughs> in, in straight oh, yeah. street level. Yeah, which, I we're still so on the same page. Which is with available, everything. Uh, when when can people see that movie? Now, now, right, right now. now. Is it everywhere, everywhere. If it's you know, everywhere. It's, I'm doing you can David, download it David on David iTunes. Now. Correct. It's everywhere. It's on and every uh, every every station in the whole world. In fact, <laughs> iTunes. Yes, yeah, on demand everywhere. Absolutely. No. It, Amazon on demand. It is. Is it on demand right now? Let's play true or false. Yes. Okay. True or false. You ask and somebody else answer if it's true or false. <laughs> okay, deal. David Hulu. the Bravo wanted to be here, but he's sick. He's sick. He came down sick last night. Oh. So, oh he's person. not here. Oh. He thought so, you didn't want him here anyway. Yeah, that's that's more like it. Uh, Charisma, <laughs> you've done a bunch of the Expendables films. A bunch. You've I've done, done two you've of done the two. three. Yeah, that's what's the majority of the to Stephen. Of that's the a bunch. That's a bunch. well. There'll be more. That's more yeah. than that's more. Then than... there was a movie coming out supposedly, and I don't know what happened to it. But Expendables. Oh, that's oh, awesome. I heard about that. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I, I heard sh- about that. that I should have been the Charlie in of yeah. the Charlie's Angels, but I should have been Charlie of the Expendables. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah. Because absolutely. Charisma. Yeah. What's that? What's a set like? Being frustrating. On, what you. is that set like? Holy fucking shit. What? What were you going to say, Ben? No, they all answered in total unison. Like every, everything you said, they all went. <laughs> like, yeah. 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 I totally yeah. want to see that. Of course. It's yeah. a good idea. Watch that. It is. Yeah. Uh, what a fucking. You don't ever see cute. Charlie. Oh. Just yeah. a lot. Like that lineup, though, of actors to be on so a set. So fun. Was, fun? Was that, it was a good time. It was, it was a, a great time. time. In fact, yeah. I just bumped into Randy Couture at the Grove oh my God. Um, mm-hmm. a few nights ago. And it's always such a pleasure to run into him. The nicest person, a, a total beast in the ring, right? Mm-hmm. Back yeah. in the yeah. day. Yeah. Or not even, so he's not doing that now. He's moved on to bigger and better things like Expendables and other feature films. <laughs> um, But he's so sweet. And Terry Crews, so sweet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah. Um, all of them were lovely, lovely. Chuck um, Norris? Uh, I never got to meet him because he was in the third one. Okay. Do your homework. Yeah. Which you weren't in the third Correct. one. Correct. I was okay. in two of the three, but not okay. three of the three. Great job, guys. <laughs> I'm just you kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Just 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 no, no big deal. No big deal. No big deal. Yeah. No big deal. Um, yeah. Yeah, sure. But it was it was great. And Jason, Jason Statham was fun. And, you know, Stallone might very well be the best storyteller I've ever been around. What? In my life. Yeah. And he's he a great the, mime. He's an amazing mime. <laughs> no Is way. He really? Are you serious? I'm not. Wow. Fucking amazing. That was that was incredible. He's, that was you miming <laughs> saying He's like No, really. He can amazing. barely even say the words fucking amazing was what Boone just said about his mime skills. Wow. I suspect- he really looks like he's getting blown over by the wind and that he's trapped in the box. It's a, it's incredible. I have no idea what you're talking about, but okay. <laughs> Those are like mime things. Those are the classic mime, mime things. Stuck yeah. in the box. No, right? no. Like, I didn't go to mime I mean, school. I, I, what did I say? Yeah, mime? Gotcha, gotcha. No, no. <laughs> he, he can do I- imitate. Um, you know. Oh, oh mimicry. Oh, mimic. 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 Mimicry. Mimicry. Okay. Oh, thank God. Excuse that me. is a <laughs> totally different thing. What are you talking about? That'd be amazing, right? Excuse me. That had Excuse blown me. my mind. I was not <laughs> ready for the idea of Sylvester <laughs> Stallone. But, but honestly, I'm, I wouldn't have been surprised. I climb that wall. I wouldn't have been surprised. No, no. He's a mimic. He I'm can glad. mimic any. Okay. He does all sorts of impressions. That makes yeah. much yeah, yeah, yeah. more sense. He's a great storyteller. He's lived a, a really, really interesting life for sure. Well, he's written I, I, most of the movies he's done. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What were you going to say, Boone? No, I did. Well, I did a movie with him too. Uh, yeah. Where he. Get Carter. Get Carter, yeah. And, and he so chased good. me down, I don't know, uh, down old Vegas. Uh-huh. Fremont Street? Fremont Street. Yeah. And when we started doing it, I mean, ran a, the whole Fremont Street. And, and um, <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> That's a lot. And when, when was we that? started doing this was a long time ago. <laughs> Girl, I was a Me. very, very high level athlete. When I was. <laughs> that's a lot of cardio when and you're not I used still to. It. Can, you know, <laughs> that is she's hilarious. having a really good time no, with this. It's just funny to hear you'd be defensive about <laughs> it. <laughs> 
funny. Oh my god. Anyway, we ran. He ran, and he, cha- he you know, we we did do that. When we started it, there was no one, you know, watching. Very quickly, a crowd of like you know three thousand people formed, oh, man. and we would do it, and everybody would. Yeah! <laughs> And then, and, was that a and, good thing? And he would, yeah, no, and he would go like, <laughs> I am, and he'd say to me, oh, "It's thirty years, man. I've been doing this thirty years. I'm a movie star. Did you know?" <laughs> no idea. <laughs> okay, okay. There was this ninety-year-old woman who came out of the crowd, and <laughs> and she almost had a heart attack when he, when he, when he, when he, when he kissed her. Like, it, oh, he oh. kissed her. Oh yeah, no, he, oh. it, she came out and with her, like her her granddaughters were oh. holding her. And she was, <laughs> and and he gave her he, he gave her CPR. Her he literally kissed her, gave her CPR, saved her life. I don't know if he did that. <laughs> uh, uh, can you tell us a little bit, Boone, about uh, about working with uh, Batman? Can we talk just a little bit about that? Because oh. you know, Batman's not real, Stephen. No, yeah, well, you didn't which work Batman? With Batman. <laughs> no, I know. I know. You, you're talking which about working with, with with Batman or with Chris. Chris with Nolan. Yeah. Uh, Christian well, Bale I want to know about Christopher Chris, Nolan Chris, and Christian Chris. Bale, you know, he he's a pretty serious cat, you know, you know. Uh comes uh, to work ready to work and then that's pretty much it. He was there with his wife. He, you know, I mean they, you know, I I didn't really socialize with There was no Chris. yelling. How about Gary Oldman? Oldman? <laughs> <laughs> Next, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was he a good um, mime at least? Or <laughs> <laughs> he was That's fun funny. because he was in his own country, so he, you know, he, yeah, he, he made most of that in England, not all of it, but oh, okay. um, and, and uh, and so he would seem to be having fun with with his peeps. Oh, that's good. You know, that's what I noticed about about Gary. Yeah, that on that. Um. Well, what about Chris Nolan? Chris is like. Chris works so hard. I mean, he had to actually. There was like a revolution on making that movie. The crew uh, was sick of in England. They weren't. I think they weren't paying them very well, and they actually revolted. And so oh. Chris kind of had to carry that on his back. Wow. Uh, um, it he was, showed it them was pretty hard. It fucking paid off. I that mean, was, those uh, movies really hard. changed like. Those movies changed the way that people look at superheroes now. I mean, like yeah. everybody now is trying to kind of catch up. It's interesting like that you say that because it's less cartoony. Bit. It's less a character. Yeah. It really does um, kind of bring it bring it brings the drama. Like, yeah. it's, I mean, even we though had it's Toby like Maguire Spider Man right before that, like mm-hmm. that just to give you an idea, and like that stuff's. Gone. I thought yeah. he was but, good, but though. Isn't he was that, fine. Isn't was fine, that the way Kirsten Batman Dunst was written also? I mean, yeah. 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 Like I agree. And, and it's like most comic book movies, they're dragging you into the comic book world, whereas that one, it seemed like it was dragging it was the opposite Batman into the into real, real world. world. Yeah. 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 Right. Feel right. you. Yeah. Completely. 100%. Yeah. And, you know, Warner Brothers, I feel like, has done a pretty solid job of kind of continuing to try to do that. But holy crap. Like, that definitely set, Christopher Nolan yeah. definitely set a uh, a bar when it comes to the way that, you know, movies like that can get made. It was pretty cool. Seems like that's the only kind of movies getting made. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's a franchise possibility. It's, right. Yeah. What's already been done and regurgitated over and over again. Again. Not again. much originality. But no. it's great for those that love the comics. That's great, you know. Sure. I'm a little bitter that I'm not Wonder Woman, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, well, you <laughs> yeah, should be. You should Israeli be. Israeli is playing <laughs> an American icon. Well, she's technically she's, not American. I'm but. very angry. I'm not Captain America. She's from some weird island. <laughs> I would be angry as well. Yeah. She's yeah. what? what she's from a weird island. Yeah. Uh, it is weird that a they weird passed weird island? Up. Well, it's an the island, island with no men weird. where they kill every man that shows up really? on the island, right? Isn't that the deal? What island uh, is Something like that, that Mike? Something like that. Mike. You can explain yeah. a little more. I don't know yeah. that. What? I, you mean Wonder Woman. There's no win. Yeah. There's no not man the like woman that. playing Wonder right. Woman. No. No. She, I thought I, that was I don't an think island she never heard people of. On her island. <laughs> no, but, the character. Um, yeah. yeah, Joss Whedon had written a tremendous script, and they passed on it. 
Well, he wanted to do Wonder Girl. When I saw oh, him at the... Okay. I, it's funny, because... Well, anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah. It wasn't going to be a Wonder Woman movie, per se. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and Joel Silver was, at the time, kind of running things. And there was... You know, I'd just come off of Veronica Mars, and there was just, like, some, like, like tie-ins there that were happening via media, which, like is sweet and everything when it goes in your favor, but not sweet when it doesn't. Right. And um, then he, it, it was, it didn't happen because I think they had a different vision, Yeah, you know, but Joss's idea was for it to be like a franchise and it would start with Wonder Girl. Yeah. And then on become to, Wonder oh, have her grow yeah. up into it. Right. Kind so, of like their Batman which begins to me, in a way. <laughs> yeah. And to me, you know, um, kind of, you know, Joss is, a very bright man, um, to say the least. So, you know, you can milk that for a hundred years. If yeah. you start with yeah. Wonder Girl, right? I had a But I don't know what, what the problems were. It was their loss because then Marvel snapped him up for the Avengers. Mm. You know? mm. Yeah. Joss True. Whedon's great. Did you uh did you ever Mark, did you ever work with Joss? No. Mm-mm. Have you ever met him? No. It's very... Do you care to? I sure. Sure. Why not? Hey. Josh, have me in. We'll we'll talk about Josh stuff. Yeah. <laughs> is there a? Do you have a favorite director that you've worked with? Is that? Can you even say that? Is that a, a favorite director? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. You know, Chris was great. Um. Well, I Steve Buscemi, who you know did Trees Lounge and mm-hmm. a couple other movies I've done. Yeah. I mean, he were old partners, so that was fun. That was always that must have been nice. impossible. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you direct? Have you thought about it? That's a good it? question. Ooh. Yeah. Yep. No, I've written. A, you know, I have a lot of stuff. I get. I just get distracted somehow. I I should be doing that, and I hope to be doing that. What do you guys do on your time off when you're not when you're not acting and you're not working? Like, what do you do at, at to keep yourselves busy or happy outside of the business? The do, you have, do you have things that you do outside? <laughs> yeah, sure. Charisma, charisma well, I'm it. a mom. Yeah. Excuse me. So I do a lot of that, or I can I do conventions and uh, I work out a lot, yeah. and um, that keeps me sane. And um, I work out a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Just for your information. <laughs> <laughs> Running up and down Fremont Street with the high. Um then I mean what else do I do? I, I'm I, I think I'm trying to figure that out as we speak. You know, I am thinking about a shift, a change, um, in another direction. <laughs> I just I have the hiccups because I just took a sip of beer. Um uh, It's what a do bad I do? time to tell you, but hold your breath for thirty seconds and it doesn't work. <laughs> um but I, I stay creative, you know, by reading and um, watching really good films. Moonlight just came out. I go to a lot of features. I, go, I watch a, a, an insane, excuse me, an insane amount of television. What are you watching now? That um, you like? Night of, I, you know, I love Shameless. I still watch that. Um, oh, yeah. um, I, you know, uh, have you seen Black you Mirror? You really do have hiccups. I do. Would you ask? Me? Have you watched Black Mirror? No. Oh, it's on Netflix. You got to check it out. Very, very Black Mirror? Good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I heard about I'm that. on to it. It's crazy. It's kind of like a modern version of the Twilight Zone. So each episode yeah. is standalone, Bryce but Dallas. they're really well. I don't like standalone. Yeah, Bryce, I don't like. I don't. Like, I don't know. Like Bryce Dallas Howard is fantastic. Bryce Dallas in her Howard episode. does like an hour episode at the beginning of uh, season three, and it's man, that Stranger Things. I'm into that. Yeah. That was, um. That's God, show. that's a great. Excuse that's me. Great show. little show. What about you, Mark? Boom, writes boom, boom. a lot. I don't punch me. In the I don't face. know. I've been playing. <laughs> Please don't punch me in the face. I, 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 I mean, I really, actually, since the Sons of Anarchy, I've been pretty busy. So I really haven't had a whole lot of time. I mean, I'm a father, also. Um, oh wow! I mean, that is, I'm. You're a mother. I'm a father. Um, and uh, oh wow, that's unbelievable. That's a wow. I, didn't, a wow. I didn't know that. <laughs> like, how kids, old is your child? Thirty-three and twenty-one. Oh, right. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I play a lot of music, I guess. I'm trying to get, uh, you know, that together. Uh, directing, would like to do that. I yeah. just, like, uh, try to get a show together. I've just been, I just did a, um, a thing called Patriot for Amazon, which is awesome. Um, that, that, the, you know how pay, um, Amazon works. They put all their pilots 
together yeah, yeah. People out in December. That came out in December. So they we did the rest of it and just finished that. Uh, ten episodes of that that should be out in February. That's I play a uh, folk singer. Oh, that's awesome. Um, I'd like to see that. But that's oh, yeah. a, look at the pilot. The pilot is unbelievable. Stephen Conrad, the guy who wrote the lives of walter mitty mm -hmm. oh, secret yeah. lives of walter mitty yeah. the, the what is it called the secret, secret lives Life of walter of, mitty yeah, yeah. He, yeah. he wrote that the late the mm -hmm. later, later version the latest version it's um, the ben stiller one the ben stiller one yeah <laughs> um and you sing in that in that uh i sing some yeah very cool um but uh do you play the guitar great do you play do you play an instrument? I, I yes, I play the guitar. I I have a I I'm not really um great at singing and playing. I think that's a real art. Sure. That I don't I mean I just uh, I I I can kind of sing I guess and I can maybe play the guitar a little bit but uh together <laughs> Not at the same time. I do it uh, in the in the show. What do you do times. between scenes? Between when scenes? you were on Sons of Anarchy for instance? And you had a lot of downtime, and you're waiting for your. We didn't really have a lot of downtime on that. We would shoot uh, an episode in seven days, and that, and often the episodes ended up an hour and a half long. So if you think about that, it's there's no downtime. That's a crazy schedule. Yeah, we, we moved. Yeah, but were really. you in every scene on a scheduled day? Like, I mean, as an actor, you know that per, that they pay you to wait. Past the past the the first couple of seasons, yes, they they didn't wait around that much. Pro but work with I, me. Know. What did you do, and <laughs> how did you do? pass you your time? Talk up to you know, P, yeah, you know, whatever. Can, just goof around. I mean, Kristen that, wants to know what you do in your trailer. Uh, <laughs> Besides the obvious, sleep. sleep. Yeah, yeah, and I'm read sure... a book. Did you play guitar? Would you just pass the I time? I just envisioned I you with candles some, lit sometime. yeah, <laughs> and oh, an acoustic no guitar, yeah, sitting on a staircase, looking oh, at yeah. the moon. No, I yeah. I know that's him. I've been it's on a there. set. I've been oh, on a yeah. set that's kind of similar to a to to. I'm not, I I mean I'm sure it wasn't anything as cool as Sons of Anarchy, but being on a set with a bunch of other guys and you're just kind of hanging sausage out. Sausage fest. And you're, yeah, yeah, and you're hanging yeah, out yeah, outside. Yeah, Night. So and you're just peacocking. telling stories and screwing around, and and I was with these guys for seven life. years. There were no stories left. <laughs> yeah, after, you know. You're making new stories. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, well, guys, I listen. I uh, Bobby, I really love you guys for coming in and oh, uh, God. hanging out with us and talking to us about it. <laughs> This God. is especially on a night like tonight where everybody it's in the like world is fucking apocalypse. It's like the apocalypse who, out there. Who has won the election? I'm dying yeah. to know. Do you ever worry, Chris, when you get hiccups that like you see those things in the Guinness book about like somebody who had hiccups for like 20 no. years and you ever worried like that's going to happen? No, <laughs> but that's I've always funny. Worried. Thank Every you for adding hiccups. to my anxiety. <laughs> I appreciate that. I'm here to make you feel better. That's, Aww, you know. you're the best. Yeah, it really is. Who won? Crazy. Uh, do we know who? No, who, we're not really it's, close. It's uh, bad. It's, are we done? Are we? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're done. We're wrapped up. But <laughs> right. hey, did you turn is us there, off? Please, well, man. is there a way? <laughs> <laughs> where can they? Uh, can are you, either you guys on Twitter or on Instagram, places like that, that they can find you or look you up? Yes. You yeah. want to go ahead or me? You're talking. So on. Uh, <laughs> Damn. Yes, I am. And I like the sound of it when I do my video <laughs> voice. <laughs> on Twitter, you can find me at all charisma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, girl. Oh, all of charisma. No, just all charisma. All charisma. All right. As and in, just it's just you. me. And then on uh, Instagram, I'm at charisma, which is a funny nickname. Charisma, K A R A Z M A. It's a David Lee Roth reference, if Very you know what I'm talking about, because nice. I'm old. That's what we do. Not. Uh, Boone, what about you? Where can people? I, I don't know. Mark Boone Jr. at, at Twitter. I don't. I mean, I'm. I'm. He has an account. Peripherally involved. <laughs> you, you got time now and then. But I don't know. I mean, I just you know, I, I kind of splatter stuff around. A little bit. <laughs> splatter. What does that mean? I splatter. <laughs> Are you a serial killer? 
It was no. like the funniest CSI ever. episode. This <laughs> brilliant. I splatter on Twitter. Uh, Mike Black, where can people find you on the internet? I splatter all over the internet. <laughs> I'm uh, sure at Mike do. Black Attack on all social media. What about you, Matt? Uh, you can find links to everything at funnymat.com, or if you were annoyed by me, let me know at mattwalkersucks.com. Yeah, because a lot of people don't like you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Two accounts. That's smart. Very nice. Hate, uh, hate in one direction. Yes. Love. I'm Filter having a bad day. I can only look at this account. <laughs> yes, 100%. Uh, you can always get me at Stephen Glickman, S-T-E-P-H-E-N, Glickman on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Uh, guys, it is uh, Boone and Charisma. Seriously, such an honor to have you guys in here. And Thanks. You know, we didn't talk enough to... about street level, though. <sighs> Honestly, he was so hot to kiss. I'm sure. I'm sure. And when it, did we kiss? I don't even remember. I kissed you on the couch. Remember? <laughs> we did. Oh, Excuse me. Rude. Yes. Ooh, such a player. Just rude. Make it happen. So fucking rude. Get your ass out there. I Check out cut, this movie. I think I don't remember seeing uh-huh. it. It's a. It's a. It's 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 gonna be. I can't wait. We'll I can't to wait practice. to check it out. Yeah. yeah you pr- go practice. It's gonna be a TV show supposedly. Ooh. Hmm. Let's yeah, hope. Yeah. That's what I want to work. That's what. Um, I want to work with Baldy. Wants wants it to be that a TV great. show. I want to shoot a gun. I always play the you damsel in distress. The, you shot the gun. I'm over it. Yeah, shoot the gun already. <laughs> out the window, hanging out the window. <laughs> Try to strap that ass in. Well, guys, this has been the Nighttime Show. We <laughs> love you. Don't forget to subscribe and Come leave comments. check out our, our next live Nighttime Show. Uh, Thank you. November 26th at the Hollywood Improv. Thanks for, uh, for checking it out. We love you guys. Bye. Bye.